Hey, Dr. Drew here with Inspire Aesthetics. Uh, we're doing a subglandular breast augmentation today. What does that mean? So there are multiple planes we can put breast implants in. The most traditional plane these days is a submuscular implant. So if this is the pectoralis muscle, the implant would go underneath the pectoralis muscle and be completely covered like that. That's the most coverage for an implant and has the least amount of rippling of the implant and the least amount of show so it looks a little more natural. The next type of implant placement would be subglandular and subglandular means it goes over the muscle and under the breast tissue so it's sandwiched in between the two layers. So this would be subglandular where this is the breast gland, the breast itself, and this is the muscle. So the implant would be sandwiched under the two. And the third type of placement would be something called a dual plane. A dual plane is kind of a little bit of the best of both worlds. So we would release the bottom of the muscle and create a pocket under the muscle. And then we'd also create a plane for a subglandular implant over the muscle. And the implant then would go under the muscle and because we release the bottom of the muscle, it would window shade up like this so half of the implant would be sitting under the muscle and half of the implant would be sitting under the breast gland. The benefit of this is you get a lot of the benefits of less rippling medially and laterally, and you get a little less implanted look superiorly, but you get a little bit of pushing of the breast implant on the gland tissue to push breast up a little bit so the breast looks a little more lifted. Why would we use a subglandular implant completely over the muscle and under the gland. Well, with that technique, the breast is gonna lift the most. It's gonna have an artificial breast lift look to a degree than if we had put it in any of those other planes. So today the patient is kind of low and I recommended a breast lift. And as a compromise, because she did not want a breast lift, we did a subglandular implant placement, which will give her the most lifted appearance, even though she could have used a lift and I recommend a lift. A lot of people are, are really afraid of the scars of a lift. In fact, most people heal really well and those scars end up concealing and hiding very well. So it's generally not as big of a problem as people might think.